Four years ago, I started my career as a YouTuber, and a lot has changed since then. YouTube's changed, I've changed, you've changed. But let's backtrack and let me explain what's kind of happened. I'm Shards, 100,000 views, 500 subscribers, four years YouTube experience. Yep, that's me, Shards. Hopefully your favorite YouTuber. Four years ago I started doing this and it has changed quite a bit. I've gone from being Shards of Gaming, a random gamer on the interwebs, to being Shard Kives, an influencer. If you've never heard of me, I'm trying to do this whole YouTube thing and adulting thing and college thing. And I crashed and burned financially. And a lot of self-confidence, understanding in business, independence from my parents, and I moved out. It's not been easy. But at first, YouTube helped me get through all of this, and then it turned around and kind of started creating these issues for me. When I realized that I'm about to hit the fourth year and start the fifth year, it kind of made me realize I'm no longer a... how to put it? I'm no longer a creator, I'm an influencer. Because creators put things out there for themselves. Influencers change people's lives and think about the impact it has on them. When I started out, I was a creator, I was a gamer, I felt like a nobody. Just putting myself out there and just messing around, didn't really take this seriously, didn't think it could go anywhere. But now, as Shard Kai's and I'm about to start this fifth year, I'm not that creator anymore. I'm an influencer who I realize I can actually make an impact on your life, hopefully for the better. And I can actually put a smile on your face, <laughs> maybe get a laugh here or there, <laughs> and actually do something impactful. With these videos, live streams, shorts, whatever content you watch, or maybe you just interact with a community post, that works too. Now, if you've seen my Please Watch video or Let's Start Over, you already know some of these things I'm about to say. And if not, or especially if you're new here, fasten your seatbelt, because I'm going to take you on a journey. Let's travel back in time to four years ago. Started off as Shards of Gaming. Plot twist, this is actually not my first channel. This is my second channel. And... On top of that, my first channel was also called Shards of Gaming. It got deleted immediately just because I didn't know what I was doing. No, it wasn't deleted from YouTube. I actually deleted it myself along with my whole entire Google account. And it would be another three, four years before I would create the channel that you are watching today. I started it back in 2020. I had gra graduated high school actually twice thanks to COVID. We had a drive through ceremony and then a couple, a couple months later we had a actual like traditional ceremony. So technically I graduated high school twice and then I started this YouTube channel pretty much right after the second graduation, August 17th, which is why this video is out on August 17th and I always do a celebratory video or stream or something, giveaway, whatever, because this channel is basically my kit. That's, that's what it's the equivalent of. I can't give this up. And it's only because you guys have stuck with me this far. And I want to make more videos like this where I'm really just open and talking about things because for one, I just keep getting sidetracked. Let me talk about that later. Yes, as you can see, I'm not always looking right at the camera. I want this to be raw, unscripted. It's going to be slightly edited. The video flows and stays on point. You don't want to hear the, all the ums and the pauses and all that. 2020, I start making videos with my phone, and I'm just doing these, like, game reviews thing. Originally meant to be a Minecraft-only channel. I record on my phone, upload to my, my laptop, and alien my laptop, which then fried. And so then, for a little bit, didn't do anything, and then I got a new computer, and... Super Mario Bros. Let's be fine! I, I promise, I usually do a better Mario impression. Super Mario, Mario, it's me, Mario, Super Mario Bros, 35. Okay, that's a little bit better, but 
See, now I'm getting sidetracked again. Thank you very much. I told you this is going to be wrong. I'm scripted. <laughs> totally random here. But this is what it means to be a YouTuber. You don't always know what you're doing. So you're number one. We're just gaming. We're just chilling. We're just hanging out, right? You're number two rolls around. And we're doing a little bit better with the editing. Although it was frustrating that there was somebody who called me out on my editing my first year. Basically accused me of, hey, you don't know how to edit. You need to have five years of experience. But I've only been doing this for five days or five weeks or five months. How am I supposed to get five years of editing experience? I can't. That's being unreasonable to expect someone with five days of experience or five weeks to have five months of experience. And if I catch any of you doing that, I'm gonna call you out and say, hey, knock it off. Especially when you've never made a video before either. So you don't really know all the effort it takes to make these videos happen. It tears people down when you say things like, Oh, you don't know how to edit. Oh, you're not even trying. Yeah, with the videos like this, it seems like I'm not trying. But believe me, I actually am because I'm doing trying to do this whole thing called relating to people. And I'm really, really bad at that. Always have been long before I did YouTube. I realized I don't just want to do gaming anymore. I want to do something else, anything else. I don't entirely just want to give up gaming, but at this point, I'm done with college, which I've done which I went to two different um, Bible colleges full time at the same time. I did four years of college within th two and a half years, three and a half years, because I started college when I was in high school, actually. Or I guess what some people would call, I started at uni in high school. Um, either way, whatever you want to call that, I'm not really sure how you term that. Let me know in the comment down below. Thank you. Ouch, my knee popped. Anyways, back to what we were discussing. Year three, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm kind of muddling around. At this point, I've got 100,000 views, right? And then something even cooler happened where, actually, I don't know if this was year two or year three. I don't remember. I'm not looking at my YouTube channel while I'm recording this. Um, my monitors are off. I'm literally just talking to the camera, so I feel like I'm talking to myself right now. It's midnight or like 1 a.m. right now, just for your reference. This Minecraft or Shark that I had recently just started watching, which at the time of this recording, I've been watching him for a couple of years now, but at the time I had just started watching him, only been watching him for a couple of weeks. We really loved his content. His name's Shark, as you're not Shark Boy, and he has this crazy idea on breaking every single block in a Minecraft world. And he reached out to me and a couple of thousand other people on his Discord server and was like, hey, who wants to do this? Let me know if you're interested. I ended up helping him with that. It turned out to be a really cool video. He gave me permission to record my POV and make my own video about this, as long as I don't, you know, spoil it and release my video before his, which is fair. He also let me stream it live on Twitch. Uh, this was back when I was Shards of Gaming, and he actually gave me a shout out, which was a really, really cool uh, roll clip, please. I actually noticed there's like four or five people that are live streaming this event, and I came across a few of them. The only unfortunate part is I really, really wanted to donate to somebody's stream, but nobody oh. has donations on. <laughs> Shout out to Shards of Gaming. Shout out to King82244. Shout out to the beautiful Cooler TNT. And of course, shout out to Caden the Gamer. And shout out to Majestic Shadow. I couldn't donate to any of you guys. So I hope you guys can go swarm their channels and show them love. Yo, you're what? Are you watching my stream? Thank you, Shark. Oh, he is. This is how you know. A moment is truly video worthy when both party members put it in the video. Um, he gave me creative mode and I didn't realize it at first and I was like, Oh hey, it's Jarek, hey buddy. Cool. I'm gonna go back to mining now. <laughs> Keep breaking these blocks. <laughs> can we can we show that please? The dog father is one of the people that is streaming right now and I wanna give him a surprise. <laughs> oh, hi. All right, ready? Game mode, creative, boom. Dogfather is officially in creative mode. Now you can use everything. I don't think they realize yet. Hey, Dogfather, Just press E. Just when I think this can't be, press E. Yeah, creative mode! 
mode. No <laughs> way. You just gave me creative mode? Yeah, let's go. I was mining by myself in a cave when I noticed Shark was right next to me. Not sure how long he had been there or how long he had been watching me. I turned to face him before resuming mining, not realizing he had given me creative mode. Eventually, he told me to press E. And so you would think getting a shout out from this large YouTuber with almost 5 million subscribers will blow me up, right? No, no. And then comes year four. We just finished it. At the time, at the time of this recording, we got like three weeks left of week of year four. So for you guys, you just finished year four of my U YouTube career. My first channel doesn't count. This one does. This is my s official career where I'm actually trying this thing, right? So, anyways, year four comes along, right? And we have all these other user experience where we've gotten much, much better making videos. And even a video like this, where it's, it's not really overly complex, we're just talking, it still requires quite a bit of editing because I want to make sure I try to get the audio just right. I want to make sure the video quality is just right. This lighting, this camera, this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, see? Case in point, the lighting here. Just trying to make everything all right, and now all of a sudden I'm too focused on the video quality and not focusing enough on the video itself. And I don't think enough YouTubers talk about this how, like, you get so wrapped up in all the details and all the analytics and the precision that you begin to lose track of what actually is the point of all this. We're storing up memories. You can look back and see where I was and look where I am now. You can basically grow up alongside me. And in, so in year four, I did the unthinkable. I decided to pivot and change my content to do other things. Like for example, started giving YouTube advice because I thought I was going to quit YouTube at the time. And no, I'm not actually quitting YouTube, but at the time I thought I might. I didn't know if I wanted to keep doing this. So I released YouTube videos. People made fun of me because, oh, you have more videos than you have subscribers. Oh, you only got subscribers because you uploaded shorts. Which, no, I didn't. 430 of my first 500 subscribers were from long form videos or live streams. I only got about 70 subscribers from shorts. And that's actually from one single short that got almost 40,000 views. And I knew before I uploaded it that it would at minimum hit 10,000 views when my most viewed short at the time only had 5,000 and before that only 2,000. And I knew for a fact it was going to hit at least 10,000 and it went on to hit four times that amount. So no, my, my channel did not grow because of shorts. I got a lot of views on shorts, I can't, there's no denying that. You can decide for yourself whether that's considered impressive or not, because that's where the vast majority of my 100,000 views came from. Although I do have a couple long form videos that did get one and 2,000 views. So shorts are not the only ones that got thousands of views. There's just a vast, vast majority here. But that's not what my channel grew. And see, there's two ways to grow on YouTube. And that is you either grow via your personality or your video ideas. Now, I'm not that great at coming up with video ideas, and even if I did come up with a good idea, I suck at editing. I have to do all this myself, the thumbnails, the streaming, the setting up the equipment, doing the editing, doing the brainstorming, doing this recording all by myself, because I, because unlike you guys, I don't have friends. I wake up, I maybe get an hour or two hours before work, right? I go to work, I'm a cashier, so my job is sell things, get screened out by customers, shut my mouth, not, not talk back to the customer, and then come home. And I work second shift, so, so when I get off work, most people are asleep, right? Hold on, I lost track of where I was going with this. <laughs> my mind is everywhere, I'm a scatterbrain. And then I come home, and I work on a YouTube video. That's my life. 
My problem is, the older I get, the more a lot of people just decided to walk out of my life and say, yeah, you know, I got this thing with that person at that time, you know, I really just, I gotta get going. And after a while of that repeating over and over and over and over again, I've decided I don't want to keep wasting my breath asking people to hang out anymore because it's obvious nobody likes me. So why bother wasting their time, my time, and my breath when I could be pu putting that into YouTube and trying to get make better videos for you guys, which turns out, by doing that, I've got, that's how I went from a channel that did not grow at all to, to getting an extra 100 subscribers and reviving my channel that was basically dead because I evolved, I changed my content, and I changed how I went about things. I managed to do some incredible things, meet awesome people, like I have literally was in a face call, um, well not a face call, he was on video cam, I was not, I was just in a chat, but I joined this thing called Creator Now, and where they had a Ask Me Anything event for Eric, which if you don't know who he is, he's got a diamond play button, folks. And he's... And he got a million, went from zero to one million subscribers in a year. So this guy knows what he's talking about here. And he actually founded Creator now. And I, since it was asked me anything, I event, I asked Eric, should I restart YouTube if I only have a few hundred subscribers? And Eric actually answered me specifically and personally and said, if you're under 10,000 subscribers, I would recommend do not restart your channel, just keep going, just keep experimenting, seeing what works and what doesn't. And if you are at 10,000 subscribers, only restart if you don't like the direction of your channel. Because at that point you have a, a sizable audience and you're not gonna be able to change their minds. Which, I mean, it makes sense. And I only have 500 subscribers, so rather than do what one of my friends not gonna say his name because I don't want anybody to go spread hate or anything but unlike one of my friends who can who builds up a channel to a thousand subscribers then quits and walks away then builds up another channel to a thousand subscribers then quits and walks away and then does it again and again and again rather than be like him yes I've started some side channels before but they've all fizzled out and died and this has been my main channel that I've always continued working on. And so that brings us to why this channel? Because this is the channel I've put the most work in. This is the most channel I've had the most success on. Because when I first started YouTube, it would be cool to earn a play button because not everybody can, so that's what I want to do. And that still is my ultimate goal here, but my, my original goal was, I know I can't get that play button. So I'll just settle for 100,000 views. Well, lo and behold, a little over one year later, I got that 100,000 views. Well, actually, I don't know if it took one year or two years, I can't remember, but either way, I hit that original goal way faster than I thought it would. And I kind of was like, I kind of hit that wall that most people hit when they hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, where they get monetized, or at least with the old monetization program before it was lower to 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours. I hit that threshold when I hit 100,000 views, but I was like, yes, I hit the goal. Uh, wait, now what do I do? Uh, um, yeah. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> and that happened again when I decided to go for 500 subscribers, and then after a year of no growth, and then again, like, five six months of actual consistent steady growth because it changed i hit that 500 subscribers and i'm kind of kind of hit that wall again i'm like eh, what do i what do i do do i keep going do i stop when i'm ahead i would like to hit 1000 subscribers i'm in the top 22 22 percent of youtube right now i mean according to view stats were developed by mr beast i'm i I'm in the top, I think it's 4,000 for gaming, or something like that, and I just, I want to push this channel to its limits and keep cr making videos, but I also don't want to make trash content, which I know sounds stupid because I am making trash content, 
I make horrible videos. My thumbnails are horrendous. My titles are probably just as bad. But it's fun, right? And that's why I'm gonna keep going for a year number five. We're gonna keep learning. We're gonna keep innovating. We're gonna keep creating. But it's to change your life. It's not just for the sake of I'm creating things because it's fun. And I'm just putting stuff out there. It's to make your life a little better. To put a smile on your face. And again, I want to earn a play button. Because not everybody can do that. I don't care about doing this full time. I would love to do it full time. That'd be great. But that's not the goal here. The ultimate goal is to make someone's life better. The second ultimate goal is to earn a play button. Simply because not everybody can do that. So if you could subscribe right now and grab someone's phone, tablet, computer, or whatever, and get them to subscribe and watch and all that stuff, that would be much appreciated. But enough of that. You hear that all the time. We messed around, we did gaming, we got over 200 subscribers without ever asking somebody to subscribe. I never said the word. Although I did say the word subscription a few times because I almost messed up. Year two, same thing. We got over 200 subscribers, except I did ask people to subscribe. Basically got the same result. Year three, I got no growth. My channel stalled out. I thought it was dead. I thought maybe I'm canceled, maybe I'm done. Year four was a year of learning and a year of change. Year five, it's going to be the year of consistency and another year of learning. Probably more experimentation as well. Um, I did not forget to mention also, I was around, I can't remember if it was 300 or 400 subscribers, I got both my first brand deal with Listener. It was like $5. It's not, it's not a lot of money. We YouTubers don't make much, especially with small ones because you guys tend to go for the big fellas and don't really care about us. It's not the algorithm's fault, it's actually you guys, because let's face it, I did the same thing. I prefer to watch people who already have a big following over the small guys. Especially when they look at views, you see a two view, you see a video with two views versus two thousand, you're gonna wanna watch the two thousand views, I know I do. But that's not the point here. Year five, I would like to make this year outshine all the rest. But I can only do that if you do your part to help me do mine. I promise I'm gonna put my foot forward and I'm going to try to make better videos, try to relate more, try to be more consistent is the main, mainly with both video quality and Okay, maybe I'm making the best videos because I don't want to be flashing and do a bunch of super editing and stuff. That's just not my style anymore. I want to try to do my best to bring you guys the best videos that I can make. Regardless if that's what the quote unquote best videos that the world thinks. If you guys promise to stay subscribed, share my videos out, please, please, please comment on my videos. Because I cannot improve if you do not comment. And when you leave comments, please don't say something like, Well, your video sucks. Oh, you're editing until 2015. Or, Oh, you don't even try. How about you do... How about you just run off the platform? I need meaningful actual comments so I can actually grow as a creator because otherwise... You're either A, you're just being hateful and spiteful for no reason, or B, you're shaming me because I don't have certain expertise, certain skills, or experience. Like, for example, what I mentioned in, at the beginning of the video where somebody got mad at me because I had like five days worth of editing experience and they were shaming me because I don't have five years of experience. Well, I'm telling you now, as someone who has four years of experience, yes, I had a whole lot better than I did back then, but that is no reason for me to go out to one of you guys and say, hey, you've only edited one video, you suck. 
You don't even try it, you videos. That wouldn't be fair for me or anybody other creator to talk down to a new creator and say that. That's uncalled for. And people still do it to me to this day. They're like, I got more views than you. I got more subscribers than you. You got, you've released more videos than your, your subscribers. You're so dumb. And maybe I am. But there's no re need to talk down to other people because of that. So anyways, you guys got me off track again. This is what happens when I just ramble on and record my thoughts. <laughs> again, this is just unscripted. <laughs> this is just shards. Myself. Or shards. Himself. How, how am I supposed to say that? I don't really know. But it's been four years. From Shards of Gaming creator to Shard Kites influencer and beyond. See you in the fifth year. Why is the door blocked? The, the door's. Hold on. Watch that video. Watch that video. <laughs> Hold on. No, seriously, YouTube said you would actually love this video as a banger, so please go ahead and watch that. Share that with a friend. Leave a comment down below. And I'm... And like Eric said, I'm leaving.